the games I'm looking forward to this September is the Spyro Reignited trilogy, but something happened recently that pissed everyone off and destroyed my hopes for it to be great. I'm not turning this channel into a Spyro Reignited news channel because at the moment there are plenty of channels that do the same thing, but I just want to provide my thoughts on this current situation. Apparently, Spyro 2 and 3 are going to be download only, even if you buy a physical copy. Ever wonder why I prefer physical, co physical copies instead of downloads? It's to avoid this. There are a couple of suggestions going around that explain, quote marks, why the games are currently in this download only state. But what I don't believe is, well, the games are too big for a single disc. Not only because the games aren't too big, because you could use multiple discs if that was the case, but the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy had all three games on one disc, and that took a roughly 7 to 8 gigabytes in total, correct me if I'm wrong. Take massive open world games, for example, like GTA V, they can fit on one disc. So, just remember we're talking about Blu-ray discs, not CDs, and Blu-ray discs can hold a lot of data compared to a standard DVD. The other, and highly likely theory to me, is Activision is trying to rush the game out for a September release date to compete with other games that release in the same month. To me, this is more likely to be true because Activision are known for doing this shit before. With one example coming to mind being the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 game, which was pushed out for, uh, before the accessibility to the franchise ended. The game that came out was a poor, broken, near unplayable mess for most people. If this is how Activision is going to treat the Reignited Trilogy that so many people are looking forward to, then I feel betrayed more than anything. Not to mention we've seen very little footage of Spyro 2, and virtually nothing from Spyro 3 yet. So it's likely that Toys Bob have only just finished Spyro 1, and they've only just started work on Spyro 2. And concerning how long they've gone without showing Spyro 2 footage, it's unlikely that Spyro 3 will even be finished before the game's release. The team at Toys Bob put their hearts and souls into this game, to make it special for other players, and it'd be a massive shame if the final game is a glitchy monstrosity. There are also several negative effects that can come out of this. If the game is going to be rushed with only Spyro 1 on the disc, then that's not what we're paying for. We're buying the Reignited Trilogy, not the Reignited first game with glorified DLC. This also leaves Spyro 2 and 3 inaccessible to players, who don't have good or even any internet at home, because you need a Wi-Fi connection to even get them in the first place. Not to mention when the PS4 and the Xbox One servers have been inevitably shut down in the future, this is going to leave them permanently inaccessible. It defeats the purpose of buying a physical copy in the first place. Listen, Activision, we have no clue if you're actually behind this, but if you are and you want to make this game good and you want to make it, you want to make everyone in the Spyro fan base happy, then listen. Delay the damn game. If it's not going to be the end of the world. If this is the current state that the trilogy is in, I doubt Toys Bob can come up with a solution for the ordeal due to time constraints. But they're doing a great job so far, and I'd hate to see that effort go to waste due to the release date being strict. That's all I have to say for now, but if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more if you're interested. I know this was a really quick video, and I'm probably talking a little too fast, but I tend to do it anyways. But if you're interested, then I will see you in the next video. See ya.